Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and business strategist and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And today I have a very hot subject. It's about your pricing. You're pricing it for your business and your products and services. And I say it's a hot subject because I had heard something last night and it kind of made me, <laughs> made me a little angry. So I felt like I had to do this video. And uh, you know, I think this is really important because how you price your products and services is part of what determines, and I say only part, of what determines how much you make um, every year, every month, every year. So if you find value in this, uh, after you watch it, please share this with your business friends or feel free to invite them now because this is a really important subject and I'm, not, I'm gonna tell you my theory on it uh, backed by foundational business rules and then you know you have to really decide what's right for you and uh, and and what what resonates personally with your own personal values so pricing your products and services I am so sure that that if you've been in business a while if you've been online you have heard of high ticket selling uh, luxury pricing um, uh, cheap pricing I don't know if that was ever a program and uh, pricing it based on your worth not associating what you sell with your worth and I have a very strong belief on this uh, and again you have to apply this to your own values but for uh, if you have any sort of expertise and I would hope that you do in whatever it is that you sell so whether it's a product or a service um, and you're a good person, you obviously want to sell it at a price that would be of value to the other person. But here is where the trouble lies, is that uh, many people that I've seen who start their business and don't really understand uh, how to price their products and services go and put something together and then they, they decide what they think it's worth and then they sell it. And then if it sells or not and however much they make is the amount that they make in their business. Which you can do that, but uh, you know, I know for, for me and my clients and based on foundational business rules is that uh, you know, I worked uh, with, with brick and mortar stores for 25 years as a retail and shopping center marketing director. And if you had a brick and mortar store and you did that, you wouldn't be able to pay your rent. You wouldn't be able to pay your bills and, Harlow, stop it. Sorry, can you give me one second? I'm sorry. Sorry about that. There was a there was a bug and my dog was picking at it and it was annoying. All right. So if you had a, a regular business, you would not be able to um, to pay your rent and then you would have to close down. Well, online, you know, you you still are human. You have rent, mortgage, a family to support, yourself to support. And if you're going to go start a business, you should do it right really um, and this is about how business is really formed so typically in a regular business and this is what I, I always recommend and that that I do for my clients is that you base it on a business budget that you create a budget about how much you want to make in your business based on maybe what you made before when you had a job, based on your income, or, or I'm sorry, your, uh, your, yeah, your income needs every month. So you have a, a plan, a budget. Um, this is usually found in a business plan. Now, while you don't have to do a whole business plan, 
you should have a general idea of how much you need to make every month to support yourself. I call that your magic number. Your magic number is all your expenses added up and then a slight padding uh, for how much you need to make every month to pay your bills and live comfortably. Then you have your dream number, the number that you want to be making in your business. Now those two things may be very two very separate things, but at the base level, you should be making your magic number. And why I recommend, and I call it a magic number, is that many people who see these people making a lot of money in their business suddenly change their income goals to be like, you know, I want to make a million dollars. And if you have not made money in your business before, you've never made a million dollars in your life, suddenly a million dollars becomes a very unrealistic goal, not maybe to you, you know, you're manifesting, doing all this, but to your brain. Your brain doesn't actually accept it if it seems really unrealistic. And so what ends up happening is then you go and you try to sell whatever it is that you're selling. And if, it's, if it doesn't sell, um, you start to uh, lose confidence. And, you know, if there's one thing that will sell something, it's your conviction and belief in what it is that you do. So a magic number is a very important number for people who haven't made what they need to make in their business. It's a number that is realistic so that then you aren't so overwhelmed. You can focus on uh, doing the things that you need to do in your business, providing value, understanding your clients' needs, um, doing your marketing, and not worry about the million dollars that's now on your brain. You need to actually focus on your business and make sure your bills are paid so that there's not more problems being caused, okay? Then this is, now I'm gonna tell you, uh, maybe you've heard this before, but it's a formula to determine your hourly rate. Now, I'm gonna say hourly rate, not because it's the amount you need to charge, but you need to understand at the very base level how much your time is actually worth. Like when you're on Facebook and you have just lost yourself in Facebook and you spent four hours on it instead of half an hour, I want you to realize how much money is just flying out the door because you didn't, you didn't do your deep work. You didn't uh, put together that class that you wanted to put together that you didn't um, do your income generating things that you need to do every single day. So I'm just gonna give you this base formula. And again, this is not what you charge. This is understanding your base level of how much your time is worth. And if you have tons of experience, you know, you, you made six figures in a job, you're a high earner, you know, you have, high, uh, magic, you have a high magic number, then then you need to obviously raise this, but this is at a base level. So let's say you want to make six figures a year. You take the $100,000 and you divide it by 52, because there's 52 weeks in a year. You uh, divide that by 40. We're just going to estimate you work 40 hours a week. And then you subtract out uh, weekends and holidays. What that comes down to is approximately hundred and sixty eight dollars an hour that's that's if you were uh, I'm sorry it comes out down to about fifty dollars an hour and uh, many people Dan Kennedy I think it is he teaches that you multiply it by three because obviously you're not selling 40 hours a week you're doing uh, income generating things and and other things that aren't actually paying you money so you multiply that by three, and that comes out to about $168 an hour. So that's not how much you charge. That's just understanding at the base level what your time is worth. So then, you know, I hear people say, you know, let's get on the phone and chat. Let's do this. Let's, you know, let's hang out in this group. And every time you do that, if it's not actually with a deliberate focus, poof. 
goes $168, poof. And if you haven't made money, money's just flying out the door. If there is one thing that is worth so, it's priceless. It's called time. Your time, you will never get back. Poof, today went away. <laughs> you will never relive today. There's always tomorrow, but I know these wrinkles on my face <laughs> didn't pop up overnight. And I know um, they don't seem to be going away. <laughs> so what I want you to understand is time is passing and it, your time is very valuable. So that actually needs to be worked into uh, how much you charge for your, um, for your products and, and services. So it, it's part of the formula, okay? So now you know your magic number, how much you need to make every month at a minimum level plus, plus padding. You know at a base level how much your time is actually worth and how much time it takes for you to write an article that maybe le invites people to come talk to you, do a webinar that um, invites people to, to a, a call with you, um, you know, engage with people uh, online because that is part of the mix, but it's not, it shouldn't be everything that you do, um, and your deep work. And, and then you know maybe the price of your family life. Like, do you have a children who time is also passing very quickly that you want to spend time with? So that every moment you're working in your business, you're actually taking time away from your family? That should be added on to your, to, uh, your minimum time rate. Then you need to understand what it is that you do. Like, what is the, your highest value that other people need? This is, so this comes down to what it is that you sell. If you're a designer, a clothing designer, and you sell clothes, okay, that's great. So it, it could be a product. Or if you are a coach and you have had tons of experiences, you faced multiple challenges to come to the answer of what it is that you sell, what is the value of that to you? first like if you you uh you had cancer and you found a cure for cancer i'm obviously making that up but let's say you found a cure for cancer and you found it that it was in your diet and you had to suffer through chemotherapy and all these bad doctors and people giving you bad advice and you suffered for years and now you've come up with a solution well that increases the value of it as opposed to you know, let me just throw this thing together and see if it sells. Two totally different things. So you obviously want to sell something of high value, of your highest value, and then understand who needs it. Who needs that magic, magical formula that you sell that cures cancer? Who needs, uh, who needs what, it, what it is that, that is, um, is, that you faced all those challenges for and what is the value to them so again I'm obviously making this up but let's say, say you came up with a cure for cancer by suffering through your own cancer and uncovering that obviously if somebody is suffering from cancer the value of it goes up because they actually that's an urgent need and you understand their problems at a deep-rooted level well then when you go to price your service and you put your products, you have to price it at the value that it is to you, the value that it is to the other person, based on your income uh, magic number, and, and based on how many that you need to sell to make your magic number. So all those things, it sounds really complicated, but in actuality, it's not, it's, it's what a, a foundational business model is. This is why when you hear people say, raise your prices, you know, high ticket selling, doing all these things, that's great. And you know, there are people who want to do that. Um, and you know, it, that's fine. But what I find, and this is where the, the thing comes in about charging your worth. So I've heard many people say your what you sell has nothing to do with your worth 
And um, I have a very strong belief against that. Because what you sell, it, it actually, um, it is your worth. So I'm not saying that you're like, you know, you're, you're stripping yourself away and you're selling yourself online. That's not what your worth is. But every time that you aren't able to pay your bills and every time you go and you try to sell something that, that doesn't feel totally you, every time somebody tries to ask you for a discount or something for free and then you give it away, that's what your worth is. And I see many people doing this. And I believe it's because they don't really understand what their highest value is, that it, it isn't personal to them. So they aren't willing to stand in their value and walk in it and say, I'm sorry, but then this is not for you. You know, I, 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 I had a video earlier this week between the problem you solve, which is your, what your expertise solves, and the urgent problem, which is what you as a human solve, your personality and the challenges you've overcome and who you are as a person. That's your personality. That's the urgent problem you solve. And um, uh, to the right person, they need what you sell from you. When your marketing is right and when your business is positioned right, then you're not sacrificing your value, you're not selling your value, but you stand in your value behind it because you believe in it so much. And then you're able to speak with confidence because you're not worried about your future. You know, I, I forgot what that quote is, but um, you know, it's, it's like those that, that know don't have to worry. It's like this inner, inner knowing that you're here for a reason and, and that, that God, the universe, you know, they put you here so you could help other people and then you get paid for being who you are and that's the way I believe life was meant to be to to help other people with your life experience you know we don't go through challenges and failures and and you know personal pain for nothing we go to learn lessons and when you can use your life as a lesson and share it with other people, then at the end of your life, you're like, wow, you know, I lived a purposeful life and I'm really glad that I went through all those challenges um, because on the other side of it, you know, it's not, I made a million dollars, but you know, I changed lives and I got paid for being who I was. I got paid for being alive. And to me, that's the way that's the way life should be. But we as humans, you know, in our judgmental minds, get in that way. And um, that's when you see people sacrificing your value, not making the money you need, looking outside of you, everywhere outside of you, you know, wasting tons of money on random courses and things that you may or may not need. I mean, everybody's teaching something of value. But whether or not it should be of value to you, should be up to you and you understanding what your highest value is and who you help and how you get it out to the world. Because, you know, to me, um, not being able to share my wisdom, not being able to help other people, it, 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 it's like a personal pain, you know, that is, to me, what regret is. It's, it's not realizing why, why, why you exist. And, and that, that sounds really deep, you know, we're talking about pricing your products and services, but what I'm really talking about is your personal value. Your personal value and your values, you know, all, all those life experiences that you've had. They have meaning, and in fact, they have meaning to somebody else when you position your business correctly. So that's what I wanted to share for today. I'd appreciate if you got any value from this, if you would share this with 
um, you know, whoever you feel needs to hear it. But if there's one thing I want you to take away, it's to understand your value every day. You know, uh, and maybe I just say this because I have a health condition, but I don't think so. I mean, you know, with our human minds and 80% negative thought, um, you know, I wake up and, and you know, my, my mornings are very challenged with this um, connective tissue disorder. You know, my thumbs are dislocated, my, my joints are popping out everywhere, and, um, and my colorectal system has collapsed. So sometimes I have to go through the day and I don't feel very good. So life is a daily challenge. I, I have said that from the beginning. But the challenge, it's the challenge for everybody, whether you have a health condition or not. Because we have to deal with that 60, 60 to 80,000 thoughts and 80% negative. And the more that you can walk in your value, the more you can realize why all those things exist, the more that, that you can then wake up the next day and say, I don't need to be validated by a thumb. I validate myself and now let me go online and help other people or go, you know, open my business doors and help other people. To stand in your value, to price things as they are, to not give in to people who don't understand their own value, who maybe don't need you yet, who aren't the ones that that should be hearing you. And Life will happen for you when you believe it happens for you. Just know that. So anyway, have a great night, everyone. It's Saturday. I don't know. It's 90 degrees in L.A., so I'm just having the time of my life. I'm going to go walk Harlow, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.